think you'd mind. Vic. Ryan. Vic. 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 <laughs> I think a formal introduction is in order. Brian! Um, Dad, this is Vicky. Uh, Vicky, this is, this is Dad. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry about that little mix-up at the door. Oh, that's quite all right. Welcome home, Victoria. <laughs> Frankie! You're just in time for dinner. Oh. Are, are you cooking? Yeah, Ryan's never even been in his kitchen, let alone cooked in it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, has this little thing been going on nightly while I've been gone? Hardly. Mm. Seems a little hot for a coat, Victoria. Would you like me to take that for you? No. Thank you. Uh, my clothes got a little wilted while I was traveling, so I just thought I'd cover up. They didn't seem wilted to me. <laughs> <sighs> I think I need to freshen up a little bit, uh... You'll excuse me? Mm. Ryan, could you help me? Oh. Uh, uh, sure. Well, just be a minute. <clears throat> I hope you weren't hungry. Mm -mm. Mm, me neither. Get them out of here. Uh, Ryan, maybe you could help me find the aspirin. Okay, yeah, sure. They're still here. We just sat down to dinner, Vicky. What do you want me to do? Take away their plates and show them the door? Yes. Can't do that. All right, maybe if we just stay in here long enough, they'll get the hint and they'll leave. Maybe we should just go back out there, drop a hint or two, okay? How does good night grab you? You be good. I'm always good. Don't you remember? Yeah, very well. Glad I'm home. Of course. Aren't you glad to be back? Mm-hmm. Plus, it, um... Looks like if I would have stayed away another minute more, you and Frankie would be picking out china patterns or something. I am not interested in Frankie. Well, I know that. You and me. The question is, is Frankie interested in you? I'm sorry about the glass, Mr. Harrison. Ryan doesn't seem to have any snifters. What a surprise. Hi, hi. Sorry about that. We oh, were... No problem. Mm. Frankie, that dinner you made, it was, um... Yeah, it was all right. Uh, what was that uh, concoction you made for yourself again? Uh, eggplant bernays. Sounds like a contradiction in terms. Doesn't sound like it. It is. I don't know, I've just been dying for some good old American food after all that Swiss gourmet mm -hmm. stuff I've been having. Where did you stay in Samaritz? Oh, it was just a little place. I don't think you'd know it, Mr. Harrison. Try me. Well, it was called the Auberge de Fleur. And the Rue Saint-Jacques. Yeah. I stay there every winter when I go skiing. Get out of town! Mm. You two could be dangerous together. How so? Because you both spend money like there's no tomorrow. There isn't. There isn't. <laughs> That reminds me. Wait one sec. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Aren't you supposed to go with her? Uh, no, th uh, this one was unplanned. Uh -huh. Sounds like you and Victoria have a lot in common, Mr. Harrison. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. I'm invisible. Mr. Harrison, I really think you're going to like this. <clears throat> don't peek. Look. Oh, that smells incredible. That isn't Monsieur Henri's. Smoked Margaret de Canard. Oh, how did you get this past custom? I smuggled it out. Vic Victoria. Oh, Ryan, loosen up, big deal. What are you going to do? Turn me into the feds? Not a smoked Margaret de Canard. Duck uh, breast. And Monsieur Henri prepares it like no one else in the world, uh, right? Duck breast. 
Mm. You don't like duck, Frankie? Well, I don't eat meat. Eat meat. We know. I don't know about you, Mr. Harrison, but I'm starving. Yeah? Ravenous. Mm. Call me Spencer. Good. Good. <laughs> um, I'll slice this up then. It's great cold, you know. Ryan, could you help me? You are hurting Frankie's feelings. Ryan. I just sat through an awful dinner. Now, I'm trying to make friends with your father. Let's just slice this up, serve it up so the guy doesn't starve, and then let's get them out of here. I did miss you. <sighs> Come on, Ryan, be a man and slice this duck breast up. Mm. I, Vicky, I wanted... <laughs> I want to do this as much as you do, uh, maybe Impossible. more. But my father is in the living room, right over there. Go wink at him. He'll love it. Mm. Vicky, my father doesn't love anything I do. Fine. I'll wink at him. I think he's nuts about me to tell you the truth. Uh, Vicky, um, do I look like a guy who's just about to make love to his girlfriend? No, you don't. Now you, on the other hand... Oh, please, honey. One more kiss, and then we'll go make nice, I promise. Mm. How are we going to look him in the eye? I will take care of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait until I get out of here. What have I been telling you since the minute mm -hmm. I got here? Oh. <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry we couldn't find that aspirin after all. And when we finally did, it was one of those hard-to-open child-proof lids. That's why it took us so long. Does someone have a headache? Yes, I do. I do. Splitting, actually. Probably from all that flying. Yeah, you, you must be right. It's probably from all the animal fat in the duck. Do you have any idea? Anyway, I do have this just uh, splitting headache, and I really need to get to bed. And I really need to get home. Um, thanks for everything you've done. You owe me big time, pal. May I offer you a ride home? No, thank you, Mr. Harrison. I have my own car. Well, it's been a lovely night. Yes, it was. And perhaps next time we can all stay in the same room together for more than three minutes at a time. I still want to talk to you, Dad. And certainly, Ryan. It's been a pleasure, Vicky. Oh, no. The pleasure's been all mine. Now, you seem like a very bright young woman. I can be. Mm -hmm. And you obviously have quite an imagination. Indeed. Now, see what you can do to get Ryan off of the Hutchins case. You got a plan. I got ears. No, I don't. But somehow, I think you can manage him. Good night. Good night. Good night, all. Good night, Frankie. Good night, Ryan. Good night, Dad. Now what? I hope you've been getting your rest. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Because we have a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Last one naked is rotten egg! Spring. It's because, um, Vic is asleep and I don't want to wake her. So what's happened? I just can't stop thinking about how important Rachel Corey is to this case. I haven't heard from her, have you? No, but I was hoping you would have by now. Uh, you know, Ryan, it is the middle of the night. I'm going to nail Hutchins. I can't think about anything else. Mm -hmm. 